hello guys uh welcome back to dimox design creatives uh where we we'll do uh we do uh designs uh we do figma designs we do graphic designs we do ui ux design we do branding we do uh uh uh, we do so many things flyers we do billboards uh, designing we do uh, website designing we do application that is mobile application designing we do so many things uh, here at uh, dmox design creatives and our uh, major our major major goal is to empower youths this uh, program definitely will uh, is solely meant to empower uh, the youth uh, that are finding it difficult to actually one uh, get a source of income number two uh, get uh, or acquire unemployment or uh, secure an em uh, unemployment somewhere so Definitely when you come here, you will learn how to design, how to do uh, designs, mockups, branding, uh, flyers, banners, CVs, uh, applications, uh, websites, and so many, so many, so many things. Uh, the list is endless. So today, I want to take you through uh, designing a CV that is a curriculum vita, a curriculum vita that you can take to an employer or your potential employer who will be looking at it and uh, be interested in having uh, a, a cv uh, that is definitely the best definitely the best cv they can see so uh, today i want to take you through uh, the process it will be very short because i have already designed one i just want to take you through so uh to design a CV, you need to have uh, just have your uh, your 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 frame. Uh, bring it here and then choose uh, on your frame. Choose uh, and and uh, on your frame. Let me see. Show you on your frame. Choose uh, uh, this size, an A4 size, an A4 size, an A4 size is something that uh, will come up uh, like this one, and an A4 an an A4 size will definitely help you to resize your work, will definitely help you to make your work look uh, better and uh, cleaner, and then it will help you uh, during your printing. So when you get an A4 page. Uh, CV is basically divided into uh, different parts. We have the first uh, part, which is uh, the uh, the which is the the the, the area that provides uh, the personal information. The area where you are supposed to provide your personal information. So today I wanted to show you a sample, one of the samples of CVs that you can have and take to the market, and you like yes this is the best cv so you can s decide to put uh, something uh, like this where you have your your name and then you have to under your name you need to provide uh, what you uh, purposely do or what is your specialization check on your specialization and give it a name so that the, the employer when they check on what actually you do or what you specialized in they can easily uh, tell or they can easily uh, get to know you as in uh, in person and the, your level of education and everything so you can decide this part here you can decide this part here to provide all your details about uh, your personal information you can provide your address you can uh, provide your photo it is recommended the, your next employer would like to see what kind of a person am i actually looking at what kind of a person am i looking for so if you provide an image or a passport of you actually it will be definitely one of the best things that you can have so from here when you look at this you can see there's that uh, part of uh, the image there is the personal information where you need to provide your details uh, 
this uh, is different from the normal CV that we usually see uh, from different emplo uh, employees or potential employees who are looking for jobs. So this one is unique and it's different and it can secure you a job. So you can decide to have your details here. You can decide to have a format uh, where your details are in the left. You can decide to have uh, a color. The background color here you can see I, I had a linear of blue and green colors uh, you can before you do the application you can see you can imagine or you can google to see what is actually uh, the color or the primary color of your next uh, or of your potential employer so that you can blend your CV uh, towards that direction so that when your potential employer sees that CV sees uh, you in their company sees you taking actually a similar goal towards their company with Figma there's no limitation to uh, colors there's no limitation to uh, the way you want to arrange your uh, your your elements you can decide to arrange them uh, your your personal information on the left side you can also decide to have that information being on the right side you can also decide to have the same information this information being uh, on the top part of your CV and most importantly as I told you uh, this one you need to have it you can change the background to look uh, similar to what uh, the other uh, the the background color is so you can decide to remove uh, this background so that it doesn't uh, appear so uh, shouting so you can leave it like that so that uh, it can blend uh, well with the background uh, uh, in uh, background color so that part you can provide your details and then there is this other part on uh, your skills your competences and so many things that you have done you may have done computer skills communication analytical thinking you may have done figma you may have done uh, this is all about software excel access these things when you create the normal cv might not uh, feature well or they might not uh, blend in well in the in the in the the normal cv that people use it may take you uh, have so many pages providing all this or giving out this information so it is always good to have them on either the left side or the right side whichever the side you choose and then remember what i told you you need to look at the uh, the primary color of your potential employer so that you blend in with that uh, organization so that that employer when they see the cv they can actually relate you or uh, have you just place you or they, they can see you inside there organization that is uh, there uh, through using their uh, organization color so the other part uh, that i told you this all these are like uh, uh, your, your skills that you do have provide all your skills on this left side all your skills all your skills on this other side don't leave any skill the space is so uh, accommodative that space is so accommodative so such that you will not have even enough space to provide all the details uh, that do not leave anything here if you know something please provide it maybe the employer is looking for that so we talked of uh, that uh, first uh, uh, part of a CV which is personal information which is usually provided here these other things skills hobbies and all that usually come at the last part of uh, normal the normal CV or the uh, the, 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 the CV that most of the people are used to but uh, remember that uh, when you have this information here on the left or on the right you're not going to have uh, any difficulty in uh, providing uh, structure or structuring your 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 CV. So the, then the body, the first part of your CV should be introduction. Provide an introduction. 
tell your potential employer who you are actually who you are tell your employer what you have been able to do over the years tell your employer or your potential employer what are the things that uh, you have done and uh, and have made an impact to them tell your next employer what you are actually planning to come and do different from uh, what uh, your competitors will say tell your employer that uh, you're, bo you're going to provide a b c d into their company and then you're going to uh, either give solutions to uh, problems that maybe will be in that company so this is now the introduction part the introduction part you can say anything about yourself related to your previous experience of work so that other part uh, is uh, your experience and uh, in your experience uh, part you need to uh, start with the 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 the, the experience that uh, or the tasks you have uh, you have done some time back or your first uh, tasks that you started uh, your employment with so you can start uh, with uh, like for example with this one uh, in June 2005 to June 2009 what were you doing provide details of things that you are able to do during that uh, specific period remember start with your first level of experience first experience and then uh, the other part is uh, you can decide uh, to have uh, the opposite. You can decide to have uh, the current experience being the first uh, in the first part. Then going down, uh, you you tell your employer what other experiences or during other periods have you been uh, having uh, or have you been doing or what other experiences have you been uh, undertaking or tasks that you've been undertaking so that uh, your employer is able to have a flow of information about your experience so this is the first way you can of doing it then there's this other the opposite is also right you can start from your current uh, Ex your current job what you're doing then going down because sometimes your employer will be looking at your current job they w some employers don't look at uh, other things that you've ever done in the past so it is always good to provide information that is current starting with the current information on or about on on your experience but also it is also good to start from so that to start from your first experience so that your employer can easily track see the progress whether the progress was uh, upwards or the progress was retrogressive uh, so you need to uh, provide uh, an information that follows like for example here we have two th 2005 to 2009 then 2009 to to 2012 in March then from there we go to June 2017 to 2017 September that's something that you did so then from there you go to education with education uh, you can start uh, either way you can start with the first uh, entry to uh, school and up to the last uh, entry or the last uh, exit point uh, of your schooling you can either decide to start with the current uh, entry or current uh, study point that you undertaking and then drop down to the last or the first the first entry point to your education uh, level or to your schooling so that's it you can do that uh, then here you need to provide uh, the years you need to say you need to tell your employer from this point to this year to this year this month to this month I was able to do this and that then I was able to achieve this and that provide such information which is very crucial because some employers uh, do not know or don't understand actually some courses that maybe you did so they need to actually be told uh, in this course 
uh, this is what I was able to achieve this is what I achieved and this is what I can do from my achievement so go down uh, explaining uh, giving details of uh, information about your schooling if it's in high school uh, what was the title of qualification that is certificate of secondary education fields of study tell your employer what you are able to study tell your employer you are able to study english kiswahili biology chemistry commerce and so on so that your employer can easily see you what you actually did in high school vis-a-vis -vis what you went for in uh, other uh, field whether you went to other fields or you specialized on your best uh, on your uh, your specialization from high school or you changed so your employer would wish to see such kind of information flowing uh, tell your employer the activities that you are able to do at school what were the activities some people don't provide such information they only provide uh, uh, details of uh, high school then what they achieved achievement they got or the grade they attained and that's it then they don't have content you need to provide uh, some content to your employee to your potential employer your potential employer needs or wants to know you very well so uh, continue uh, with a level of education until uh, get until to the uh, current uh, stage of education that you do you're doing or the last exit point of your academic so then from there you can provide uh, the conferences that you or uh, the small small courses that you are able to undertake uh, give your employer or your potential employer information about some things or some smaller smaller courses that you are able to or conferences that you are able to achieve uh, attend and achieve a certificate out of them like for example we have this one june's uh, counseling child counseling by amani tell the employer which uh, uh, institution provided such uh, uh, conference which institution uh, gave you that platform so that your employer can relate some employers would wish to see oh you did this where so where where did you do it so tell your employer so that they can easily relate and see whether you are the right person they want or you're not the right person you, they want we have references uh, provide your latest uh, or your current uh, references provide details or uh, contacts of people that you know when they are called or they are contacted they can actually give a testimony of who you are a good potential employer would always want to know you more than uh, uh, just what the CV provides they would want to actually understand your background uh, some information about your background and for them to get to know uh, your background they will always uh, go for references though references uh, sometimes people that may be contacted may be may provide information that is untrue or information that will make uh, the potential employer feel uh, see you as the best person sometimes uh, such information that they collect from references uh, give uh, the employer some uh, information and uh, from them they can do some uh, uh, what we call a follow-up and then make a, a decision on the same so provide details that are true don't give uh, your potential employer contacts that are not existing they may find you uh, being a dishonest person so that's it then the final thing you can provide uh, interest on this interest you may either put them here if you so wish you may provide them under this uh, part of skills you can decide to provide the interest there as the employer goes through the main body of your cv they can be checking on your interests or your hobbies 
they can be checking on them so uh, provide uh, your interests so that your employer or your potential employer can uh, easily know how well you relate uh, with people how is your social uh, domain how do you work on your social part of life and what things do you like doing when you're free so provide such information so uh, with a CV like this I'm telling you when you present it to your employer it will be easily uh, so easy for you to win that C uh, in to win that uh, interview so this is uh, just but a sample CV we have many other formats I told you you may decide to take this uh, blue green part to the right side and then this other white side the body part uh, you may decide to have it on your left you may decide to have uh, these uh, details about you or your profile on top of the pa first page so that's it for a cv you may decide to have some just minor deco decorations don't don't put so many things so many colorful uh, things on just make it look standard and official and that's it then from there you you can do this you, after you are done with the first page you may duplicate the first page to the second page so that you delete the content in the first page uh, page and then work on the second page and then from there you duplicate and then again you work on that uh, third page then you can duplicate again and work on the other page until you are done with the last page now when you're done with the last page you can always come to preview and then you can export your information to uh, as a, as a PDF uh, as a PDF you have to don't don't uh, bring it down to your machine uh, as a PNG or JPG or something just bring it in the format of PDF and uh, and 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 save it somewhere when you save it somewhere let me try and see when you save it somewhere now when you open that page definitely it will come out clean it will bring in some good uh, details about you information about you and uh, you will be good to go you may you will you may decide also to separate this uh, the pages by working on the page uh, canvas page by page you work on the first page then the second one you work on the second page just like that or you may decide to have it look as as one document then you export it to your local machine and then you're done so thank you you can do some practice if you have a cv that is very plain you can decide to have a design like this one you can decide to play around with the design and see what uh, you can do basically you need to do uh, some practice on the same so that uh, you become uh, more uh, used to figma i told you with figma we are going to have so many things that uh, you never thought uh, would be done through this simple uh, th this simple software so thank you guys for following up with the tutorial of uh, this uh, moment uh, thank you for the previous tutorial you followed up so well and we, we believe that the next tutorial will be more interesting as I will bring in uh, more interesting content so that uh, we can both uh, benefit from it and uh, please remember to subscribe if you did not do that remember to share remember to like and make a comment give me some comment tell me areas of uh, i should uh, improve tell me then what next course or uh, what uh, uh, tutorial would you wish me to present or uh, train you so that you can maybe develop uh, on it so that uh, maybe you can have something out of it so thank you so much and uh, have a nice time as we continue to uh, enlighten each other as we continue to as i continue to give you education remember uh, dmox design creatives uh, is solely uh, for uh, main goal is for uh, the development of the youth and then thank you and thank you so much for the views that you have uh, actually provided to 
uh, to me i can see there's uh, some good pros progress some good development is working and uh, i believe with time we shall uh, have uh, uh, a bigger a bigger community uh, and uh, we shall celebrate so thank you thank you thank you and remember to subscribe see ya